Hey, I'm Mark Rhodes and welcome back to my workshop. You know, most of the builds I've done on this channel so far have been around sci-fi or pop culture related stuff. And I think today's build is the first time I've shown a non-pop culture related item based on a TV show that aired over 60 years ago. Keep watching. When I was a kid growing up, we only had a few TV channels, so you had no choice but to watch reruns of TV shows that in hindsight were pretty terrible, yet for some reason evoke some pretty fond memories and feelings. When a friend of mine by the name of Lucy Lux, who's a local Australian burlesque performer, asked me if I'd be interested in building her a commission for her upcoming burlesque act, of course I was interested. And that upcoming show is themed on I Dream of Jeannie, which was a TV show that ran from the mid 60s to the early 70s. The main character was a scantily clad female genie named Jeannie, and she appears from a genie lamp that looks like this. In fact, the concept art that Lucy sent through to me were pictures of reproductions of the original genie lamp, just like you've seen there. We mused on what we could potentially do with this and settled on a version of this that was modified slightly to be a bit more in line with a burlesque theme and that would have some special effects built in, in this case, lights and smoke. So I decided the best thing to do would be to design a new genie lamp from scratch based on the original design and that's how the build started with me making some sketches in Fusion 360 which eventually made it onto one of the printers over there. So let's get straight into the build.
So that's the build done and I'm pretty proud of this one. This thing is awesome. So what did I do? I designed this lamp in Fusion 360, printed it out on a few different printers, glued it together, sanded it, primed it, sanded it, painted it, sanded it again, and then painted it for a final time, put gemstones all over it, added some custom electronics inside it, and assembled the whole thing together. And this is what you get. An epic I Dream of Genie lamp that can spew out either pink or rainbow colored smoke upon a button press. Not a bad build if I do say so myself. I'm really pleased with the huge volume of smoke that I was able to achieve with this device. In fact, it's far more than I've seen from any other prop or cosplay device so far. And that really is quite intentional because this is a stage prop. It's designed to be used in a dance. It needs a significant volume of smoke in order for it to be visible from the audience, especially if you're at the back of the room. With that, it was time to get the electronics sorted. The device has two buttons to give it multiple functions. The top button will allow Lucy to trigger instant smoke and pink light. You'll notice I've taken the actual smoker out just for the purposes of demonstrations. This will fire for as long as it's held down. And the bottom button. The bottom button will trigger a 30 second countdown before firing rainbow lit smoke for about 10 seconds. To give Lucy an idea of how long is left on the bottom button timer, you can see that the top NeoPixel ring is displaying a rudimentary visual countdown. All of this is controlled by the Arduino, so the light color, the duration, and the countdown are easily customizable. When the countdown is up, it fires smoke. After all of this was tested and working, it was all hot glued to the inside of the lamp. For Lucy to use it, all she has to do is put the batteries in, connect the two wires via snap connectors, and then screw the base in. So even with that epic build, is there anything I do differently? And the answer is, yep, every time. First one, these fake gems. I bought a bunch of fake gems at the last minute from my local cheap shop. And if I were to do this again, I'd find better gems online because these ones all had an adhesive backing and it wasn't strong enough to hold onto the chassis. Removing that adhesive backing on every single gem was a real pain. So if I was to do it again, I'd buy the ones without an adhesive backing. I'd print all of this in one piece, mid, printing this lamp, I had two epic print failures, both of which took both of my printers offline. I had three quarters of the lamp done and had to ask a local friend, Tom Stone, to help out by printing the final piece. This had to be epoxied in place. However, if it had my printers online, it would have been one big piece rather than two partial pieces glued together. I also wish I'd known about the airflow and static pressure earlier. I also wish I'd knew how good the LEDs on this would look as if I was going to do this again, I'd modify this design to include some Neo pixels around the sides here instead of gems, which I think would look amazing. As this is a stage prop, I gave this a really heavy varnish, but I'm still concerned that it's not going to be enough. So I need to investigate a heavier varnish for future builds. And the last one, this would have saved me at least one print. I really should have mocked up all the internal parts first on the inside of this lamp. Honestly though, I didn't know what parts I was going to use until my third revision anyway, so I really might have saved myself only one provision. So, if you're interested in building one of these for yourself, I've uploaded the parts list, the schematic, the files, and the Arduino sketch or the code to my GitHub. Links are in the descriptions down below, and the parts for you to make one of these for yourself are gonna run you about 200 Australian bucks and a little bit of time on a 3D printer. And everything you need to know is right in that link in the description. If you do decide to make one of these for yourself, please reach out to me here or on social media and let me know how you've gone as I'd love to see what you've come up with. We're now at the end of the video. If you have any suggestions on things I could have done better, if you've got a comment on the build or if there's something you'd like to see me build in the future, drop me a comment down below. And as always, if you'd enjoyed what I'm doing here and want to see more of my random maker videos, then hit the like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching. Now go and make one of these for yourself.